Why do some corals grow fast and some grow slow? Let's check them out. So this guy right here is a green star polyp, and this guy right here is a little zoanthid colony. And the reason that these two species of corals grow very fast is that they are a soft coral, which means they don't have a skeleton. And essentially all they need to grow is they need the right light, the right flow, consistent water parameters, and then they eat stuff out of the water column. But they're not dependent on growing that skeleton first before they can grow over it. Now, while these corals don't have a skeleton to grow, they are still dependent on alkalinity and calcium staying stable. So if you have a soft coral aquarium, I still highly recommend that you check the basic reef parameters because they might change from coralline algae growth or snails growing their shell. Now compared to our zoanthids and our GSP, here are some corals I'd classify as a slow grower. The first one would be like this trachophilia here. So these basically they're just like one big mouth and essentially what happens is they grow this really thick skeleton and that's how they grow over it. So they have a lot of barriers to growing increased size because they have to grow that huge thick skeleton on there. Now having to grow a skeleton isn't the only thing that sets corals apart in terms of growth speed because we do have Acropora in here and actually in the wild Acropora are the foundation of the reef. They grow the fastest. And the reason for that is they actually take most of the energy and most of the nutrition that comes into the reef. So they've got all of the light because they're growing at the top and then all the water flow comes through and brings in the prey for the acro to eat. Now, while these corals can grow super fast, it takes a lot of skill and consistency, really mostly consistency to dial in the energy and requirements to keep that animal thriving. Whereas the green star polyp, the zoanthids and our trachophilia, they don't require as pristine water quality for them to grow. So I know that can be a little confusing, but I would think of Acropora like a bodybuilder. Bodybuilders eat a ton of food, but they work out really hard. And that's the same thing acros do. They take a ton of nutrients in, whether it's amino acids, prey they capture, but then all of that waste usually gets carried on in the wild. So what we have to do in our reef tank is we have to export that waste, either by doing water changes, carbon dosing, or having a really nice protein skimmer.